Hello, I'm Leah. And I'm her mother, Jo. I'm a mum of two. I've got one uh, who's nearly seven and uh, one who's nearly two. I'm a mum of three and mine are all grown up, aren't you, Leah? Well, yeah, yeah, I think so. Well, my mum actually talked to me about, only maybe once or twice, about my pelvic floor after I had my children. Uh, and she said, you must do your pelvic floor exercises. You must stop peeing in the middle of a pee. And that basically was it. And I never really, she never really said anything else about it. I think I talked to Leah maybe once or twice about it. I remember my gran, See, I left it to my mum, now. actually. Um, always talking about, well, not always, maybe a few times, talking about how you, when you should go to the toilet, you should hold your pee for 10 and then let it go, because that will strengthen your pelvic floor. You see, I just left it for my mother to do. I didn't really even think about it. Um, I was too busy kind of worrying about you know, whether my milk would come in or, you know, just other things. Um, after having two kids, I'm now like enlightened with this pelvic floor. And, um, you know, there were some things that I've learned about my pelvic floor that I didn't even know. I didn't even know where my pelvic floor was. So. Uh, I, um, I didn't really give it a thought, actually. Uh, the only time I started thinking about my pelvic floor was when I would get a cough and I would cough in the night, and I used to sort of, if it was a really bad cough, because I used to get bronchitis, I tended to wet myself. And then also, when if I sneeze, a really strong sneeze, I will also get a little bit of pee. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Now, from now Sorry. on, if I sneeze, you're really? going to be saying, have you wet yourself? But I'll Sorry. be saying, no, because I use my little machine Yes, your Innovo machine. Yes. I think it's really important that um, other women are told about this. Yeah, I didn't realise that it was one in three women suffer from weak pelvic floor. So, um, and by learning all about this now, um, I think it's so important that we, that we speak up about it. And, and, and it, once you start talking about it, other women feel better about talking about it as well. You know, if she can yeah. talk about it, yeah. Oh yes, that happens to me. Oh, that sort of thing. Well, it's but kind of a comfort, three. isn't it, that you're not alone and yeah. that other women suffer from this. And you know, men do too. But at the moment, you know, we're here for the for the women. It's a great movement. I think it's fantastic, and I think we should be um, freer to talk about things like this and help other women as well. My granny had a big operation and she suffered a lot with it and it took her a long time to recover. So I certainly don't want to go down that route. So no. Not at all. No, neither do I. Um, so I'm going to use my Innovo as much as I can. Is when I do a really strong sneeze and when I get a bad cough. And my moment of weakness is jumping on a trampoline and sneezing. Occasionally. I loved it. I loved the feeling of using my Innovo. I was a bit um, a bit cautious at first. I turned up the, <laughs> the vibration and I <laughs> I loved it. I was like, yeah! And after about half an hour I was like, yeah, okay, I'm just gonna take it off now and, and maybe do it again tomorrow. Um, I had to get Leah to help me with my the first time I used it because my connections weren't weren't quite right. But once it was, I was on, I I found it really relaxing, and I kind of had to go and have a nap, didn't you, afterwards, yeah. Mum? I did. I, I loved it, and I got up to forty five. I'm I'm up to forty five now. Yeah, I'm only up to like thirty four. My advice for any woman out there is, for every woman out there, is to strengthen your pel pelvic floor and uh, because then it's only going to help you in the future. And any woman that's got a problem now, this will restore it completely. So um, do not fear 
for restoration is here. Don't go and restore your floor, ladies, because you've got nothing to lose. And, and does one in three women have it? So, I mean, it's not like it's something that is very rare. It's so common. Yeah.